Hey my loves, it's your girl Mary J. Welcome back to yet another video. First of all, thank you for coming back, stopping by to see my face and all that. <laughs> but in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how I got this burgundy color that I'm rocking right now. If you guys would like to see how I got it, please stay tuned, continue watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys, and enjoy. So guys, this is my Wiggins hair that I did an initial review on. I will go ahead and link that on the cards above for you guys. Um, I am using the high color and I am using 40 volume developer. I am using my got to be free spray and you can't forget the gloves guys. Bowl, mixing bowl, um, a brush and I think that's all that you're going to need. So starting off, I am going to be spraying my got to be free spray on to my frontal. So therefore it is dried and therefore when I put the dye on it, it helps so the dye does not leak through the um, the lace. You don't want um, dye on your lace, right? So I spray that on it and I, you know, just put that to the side and let that dry completely. And here you see me unraveling a bundle and we're going to go right through it, guys. Um we're not playing no games in this video i am unraveling the bundle getting it ready for me to apply some dye in it and yeah we about to get it So now that that bundle is all prepped, I am going to be putting on my gloves because I am about to start the mixture. Make sure you put your gloves on guys and you probably should put on a shirt that you don't want because that's where I messed up at guys. Come on now, that was a rookie mistake, right? <laughs> so um, the color that I am using, it is Intense Red from High Color. I am, go I am going to just squeeze that tube into the mixing bowl and I am going to add the developer in there. I just eyeballed it really. There's no, I didn't do no like measuring and all of that good stuff or whatever the case. I just eyeballed it and poured some developer in there and mixed it up. That was that guys. By the way, the high color brand is really great for when you want to dye or lift dark hair, um, especially uh, because you don't have to use bleach. Um, in my situation with curly hair, I did not want to use any bleach because I didn't want to ruin um, the curls on the hair because it was already popping. So I definitely rooted for um, the high color brand because like I said, it could lift um, dark hair without using bleach, just a developer. So that's definitely always the way to go when I am dyeing black hair. So like I mentioned before, I am pouring in the developer. I am just eyeballing it. Nothing fancy guys. Listen, I am not a professional that we already know I'm not a professional, right? I just know kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm just eyeballing it and now I'm stirring it up. 
making sure I mix the dye and the developer nice and even and everything is nice and seamless so therefore I can just apply it directly on the bundles So again guys this is the completed um, mixture as you can see everything is nice and even nice and red now we about to just apply this dye onto the bundles and this is me attempting to you know be cute and use a little brush and whatever the case right <laughs> yeah laugh at me because now I'm about to use my hands and we about to just get this process done I am dying the hair from root to tip so that's it like it's, it's nothing to be cute about just apply the dye make sure every strand of hair um, is coated with the dye you know and that's it that's it So guys, this is me um, repeating the same process, the same steps that I did with the first bundle onto the second bundle, the third, and I'll come back and talk to you guys when I get to the frontal.
all right guys we about to get to the frontal now i would say that this is the hardest part um, of dyeing the hair because the frontal you want to be really really careful like i said before you don't want to get dye on your lace you don't want it seeping through your lace so i was very very careful with this step guys and the got to be did help me although some dye did end up going through the lace it was not really you know a lot it did not destroy the hair at all so guys you want to make sure that you're careful it's ultimately the same steps but you know with the frontal you want to make sure that you're extra cautious you want to make sure that you know no dye is seeping through the lace that's like the main objective and the male the main goal for this right now so yeah As you can see, I am very careful with this step. Um, I am barely putting any like dye on the brush because like I said, I, w I really wanna prevent, you know, the dye from seeping through the lace. And I was very careful. Although this is a little sped up, um, it, this took me forever to do guys. So I just wanna let you guys know that like, dye this frontal ain't no joke guys. So. <laughs> So here I am parting the hair like in smaller pieces so therefore I get in between um, the parts because I didn't want dark roots. I wanted the um, hair to be burgundy from root to tip and that's the hardest part because you, you like you're getting so close to the lace that you still want to make sure that you don't touch the lace but you get every strand of hair. So that's why I said this was no joke, guys. This was re that this really took like it took a minute, guys.
so guys that completed me dyeing both the frontal and the bundles um after that i just let i let them sit for um about five hours and then i washed them off um shampoo conditioner and um that was it and i made my wig and um that was it guys so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys learned something at the very least thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in another one this is the finished product guys just wanted to come in and say that of course and i will go ahead and do a curly hair routine for you guys so stay tuned for that because it's coming right up i love this hair guys oh my gosh i hope you guys did too oh my gosh bye again <laughs>